And now, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together and give a reaction to the action of the World Wrestling to the World Wrestling Empire. Man, we got a killer night of action lined up here. Looks like a good card again, Larry, as usual. All right. We're going to start things off in a minute with an interview with Scott Summers and Shane Cortez. Then we're going to see them as they take on the Masters of Destruction. That's going to be a good match. You're always here at the WWE. Great people. Okay. Then later on tonight, you're going to see the bad boys taking off the Military Express. Follow that up when T-Town Tim Zane shows what he's made of when he takes on the Annihilator. Boy, he has his hands full of that Annihilator, I'll tell you. <laughs> all right. And then, later on tonight, after all that's done, we're going to have another semi-final match at the World Wrestling Empire Tag Team Tournament. All that and a whole lot more right here. These are our sponsors, and we're going to be right back. Like one nine for a lonely trucker. Can anyone copy? How about guys? Where do you go when you just gotta get on that channel? Calgary. Try Radio City CB. Radio City has new grants, unit in Galaxy and Cobra radios, fire stick and hustler antennas, and they're an authorized Wilson dealer. Mama got you on a budget? Radio City has a large selection of pre-owned radios for anyone's pocketbook. Whether it's installation, service, or just the rock bottom prices, the next time you just gotta get through. Think Radio City CB. In the northwest corner of the parking lot, Bruce's Hello? truck stop, 161st Hello? and Skelly Drive. Okay, wrestling fans, if you missed the last show, you missed the finals of the tag team tournament. The introduction of our gorgeous new ring announcer. An incredible light and power technical show, and you are basically an idiot. However, we're going to give you one more chance when the World Wrestling Empire holds its third annual Stephen D. Belleville Memorial Tournament of Champions. On Saturday, November 11th, don't miss the hottest wrestling action around as our wrestlers lock up in a free-for-all. That's the National Guard Armory, 4200 North Mingo Valley. Doors open at 7, bell time at 8. The World Wrestling Empire, be there! Conley's is expanding. No, not Jimmy, the showroom. To make more room for all your appliance needs. We've expanded our lines of new furniture with Washington Dykes and Seville. And as always, we have a full line of quality pre-owned appliances. So whether you need a refrigerator, stove, washer, dryer, TV, or VCR, come to Conley Appliances and either purchase or rent to own. And don't forget our service after the sale. Come by Conley's on the corner of 49th West Avenue and Charles Page Boulevard and see our expanded showroom. And remember... Vern Jewelry is still next door. Need insurance? If you have a car, boat, or motorcycle. Even if you have traffic tickets or a DUI. If you own a business, if you are a renter. Try us for insurance. has been serving Oklahomans since 1951. We are property and casualty insurance specialists. Try us for insurance. An independent agent for property and casualty insurance. Try us for insurance. 831 North Sheridan, Tulsa. That's 834-5663. Well, here we are, Scott. You and I, we're going to get in the ring. I never had a problem with you. Not now, not in the past, not in the future. I don't think I have a problem with you. You're a bad guy. I'm a good guy. They want to team us up for MOD. MOD, you want some of me? Here I am. He's going to back me up, and he's going to be there all the way. What do you got to say, Scott? MOD? They say you can get a little bit crazy. Look into these eyes, man. I get crazy, too. Can you deal with this? Come get some. All right, Scott Summers and Shane Cortez. Uh, Scott kind of getting back to being the fine southern gentleman that he always is. Kind of lost his mind there for a little bit, wouldn't you say? Boy, he, he has lost something, but I think he's got it all together tonight, though, Ledge. We're going to see this tonight. All right, we'll be ready for it. All right, well, we got a great match coming up. And right now, we're going to get that underway here. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, coming in first, weight unknown, parts unknown, chaos and mayhem, the Masters of Destruction. There's a lovely bunch of people. Tagging together for the first time, Scott Summers 
and the high five shake Number Shane Cortez. Coach Cortez, one of the most popular wrestlers in the World Wrestling Empire. They are accompanied to the ring tonight by their managers, Bad Brad and Colonel Tom Parman. Referee Alan Lane, third man in the ring this evening. They can't even make up who's going to be first. <laughs> All right. Scott Summers, Shane Cortez. With the experience these two guys bring to the ring, I can't help but believe they'll do a fine job tagging tonight, even though they haven't actually worked as a tag team before. Shane Cortez is working the crowd. What a great wrestler he is. People love him here in Tulsa. All right. Explaining other rules right there by one of the masked right. men. There's the bell. Very rude individual, as you can see. Both the wrestlers circling on the ring now. We got Mayhem in the blue against Shane Cortez. There's a collar and elbow tie-up. Mayhem, what kind of name is that for a wrestler? <laughs> I guarantee his mother didn't call him that. That's for sure. You know, his mother probably doesn't even claim him anymore. Oh, there's a minute of clothes on the Mayhem there. Good break. Cortez is back on his Oh, big boot by Shane Cortez. Cortez showing his legs with that, and another clothesline drives Mayhem to the mat. Giving Mayhem some of his own medicine. See if how long he can take it from Cortez. Kick out on two. Great strong kick out. Mayhem rolls it over. Cortez right in there on him. He's trying to cut his hair off, Ledge, what he's doing. Mayhem gets his feet into the ropes. Cortez actually has a great amateur wrestling background, was a state champion in high school. Great wrestler, great individual. There's the tag, Scott Summers into the ring now. Masters of Destruction trying to uh, decide who's going where, it looks like. A little confusion. Or discussion. Chaos goes in. Chaos says, let me try some of this. Mayhem comes out. Now you take a look at the Masters of Destruction, and these two guys are just built like bowling balls. That's right, it's a great arm drag from Summers. Oh! Tremendous one, another one. That's a good move. We got Shane Cortez and Chaos getting ready to hook it up. The ring great side. body slam. That was a great body slam by Summers. There's another one. Oh! Oh, goodness. Scott Summers single-handedly taking it to MOD. This is the people, this is the crowd. They love it, they love it here in Tulsa. Masters of Destruction on the concrete. Trying to wake his partner up after that. He better wake him up. <laughs> Referee Alan Lane administering the count, ordering a, a wrestler to get back into the ring. Neither one of them want back in their legs. They know what they're going to get. Scott Summers doing a great job with a series of body slams there. Kind of backed off. Mayhem and chaos. And Mayhem right back in again. Collar and elbow tie up. These men are very concerned about their men. They have a right to be. Oh! That's the referee. There's the referee. The referee orders him to open that fist. Big open hand. Set Scott Summers up. There's the super hand. Suplex by my hand, of course. Oh, and he kicks out on a suit. That was a close ledge. Scott Summers barely able to get that shoulder up, but he somehow needs, manages. He needs to stay out of their corner. That's all. He's, he's in the wrong corner. Oh! oh. Scott Summers in a lot of trouble right oh here. He's in the wrong spot. There's the referee. The referee's not around. All right, Chaos is using the tag rope. He's keeping Cortez out. Oh, I couldn't see what they were doing, Liz, but I know it wasn't legal, that's for sure. Scott Summers in the wrong corner at the wrong time. Mayhem and Chaos showing some of their ring savvy. Take it to Scott Summers at every opportunity early in this match. That referee busy legs is working the referee to their advantage. Scott Summers back on his feet now. Boots is in the Oh, DDT. Quick DDT by Scott Summers. Oh, my goodness. Mayhem is in trouble. Scott Summers unable to muster the energy to move in for the pin at this early stage in this match. The crowd getting into it, Liz. This is the crowd. There's the whip. Go! Oh! Drop kick. 
Tremendous drop kick legs. Good gracious, took Cotton. the breath away from me. Top mayhem right square in the chest. Scott Summers drags him. There's the hamstring stretch. Working that leg. Now he's going to a different part of the body. Mayhem is reaching for a tag the wrong direction, looks like. He knew his man went there. He was just trying for the rope. This is the crowd. The crowd wants Summers to go for it. Oh, my goodness. And a very dangerous move there, the Ledge. Split leg drop. <laughs> That's a scary move. That's a very dangerous move. Cortez going to the top. Oh, a Russian leg sweep. Beautiful move. Good move by Scott Summers. Oh, Cortez. Oh, nice. oh. One, two. Payoff oh. into interference. Yeah. And I believe Cortez could have had the pin that time. That was definitely interference by the illegal man, Legend. That was definitely interference. There's the tag as Chaos comes into the ring, going after Shane Cortez. Cortez needs to get the crowd behind him. Here they come. Here they come. Comes the crowd. Cortez fights his way back. Yes. The crowd expired him. He's back on his feet. He's ready. He is ready. Shane Cortez signaling to the masters of destruction, join me in the squared circle. Oh. Close line. Oh, oh, right. Right on the button. Right on the button. Point oh, right. Mayhem has taken a few good shots and payoff as well. Took his head clean off. Let's not know how he's still in the ring. My goodness. Sets him into the ropes. There's the whip off the rope. Oh, nice. Cross body. Beautiful move by Cortez. Oh, oh so right. close. Payoff gets that shoulder up. I don't know if his partner had anything to do with that, ladies, but it sure looked like it to me. I don't know. Good shot of Bad Brad. We got the crowd back into it, Legend. Listen to the crowd. A great crowd tonight. Come and be a part of the WWE. It's great. Oh, oh a tremendous clothesline by both men. Big Double man. clothesline, Ledge. What's this? This is a good time to remind people that there are matches that occur at the live events that you will not see on television. Another good reason to visit us at the World Wrestling Empire. That's right, you have to be here to join all this great action. Oh, he makes a tag. Cortez comes in. Shane Cortez in against Mayhem. Mayhem pleading for his life. What is he going to do? Power slam. A tremendous power slam. And there is his partner again who interferes. Oh, Shane Cortez going after chaos now. Whip off the rope. Another power slam. Slam. Both men are devastated. I don't know where they're at. Masters of destruction and a lot of trouble. Shane Cortez on the top right. with the crowd body. Oh, 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 comes up behind. Great move by Summers. Great move. Both men occupied with Cortez. Scott Summers helps his partner to the speed. Gets him in for the pin. you missed the finals of the tag team tournament the introduction of our gorgeous new ring announcer an incredible light and pyrotechnical show and you are basically an idiot however we're going to give you one more chance when the world wrestling empire holds its third annual stephen d belleville memorial tournament of champions on saturday november 11th don't miss the hottest wrestling action around as our wrestlers lock up in a free-for-all that's the national guard armory 4200 north mingo valley doors open at seven bell time at eight the world wrestling empire be there hi I'm Glenn DeWeese, the owner of Davcom Video and the director of tonight's show. And this is the edit suite where we put it all together. You know, it's a proven fact that people who both see and hear information remember significantly more than people who only see or hear it. 
Recent advances in video technology have brought high quality video within the reach of even the smallest business or organization. If you have a video need for anything from large multi-camera shoots from cheerleading competitions to professional wrestling, or perhaps you want to showcase your product in a trade show or create a training video for your employees, Davcom Video offers turnkey production from scripting to making your copies. And we'll work with your budget to give you the best video product your money can buy. Call us now, 749-9447. References available on request. Promotional consideration provided by the following. Dabcom Video. Don't let your business be the best kept secret in town. Call Dabcom Video. Skyam Graphics. Proudly providing the World Wrestling Empire event program. Sir Knight Formal Wear. When you want to look right, Sir Knight. Try us for insurance. For your home, car, or business. Coming soon to a video store near you. Battles and bloodbaths of the World Wrestling Empire. You asked for it, you got it. Most of these matches were far too violent to show on television, so this is the only way to view them. Watch this space for more details, or write the address on the screen. All right, welcome back to the World Wrestling Empire. Boy, we got a great match coming up in this next bunch right here. It's going to be a tremendous on the WWE. It's great. Every match is a main event anywhere. All right. Well, let's get this one underway. We'll get these wrestlers introduced. Ladies and gentlemen, coming in first, from Atlanta, Georgia, they're managed by Silverado, Red Knight, Romantic. Together they are the Bad Boys. Oh, there's a pair for you right there. They should have the black cat with them. That's trouble with a capital T, right there. The mixed crowd here tonight, man. These guys aren't very popular, are they? Their opponents this evening, they are former World Wrestling Empire Tag Team Champions from Fort Bragg, North Carolina, Sergeant Todd and Sergeant Hartman, the military. corner of the ring headed in for a good night of action against the bad boys you know Crow Danzig and Brett Knight bad attitudes you know I'd sit here next to Crow or uh, Brett Knight last week and uh, yeah I, guys just not very friendly well, I hope you lost all this chair and this microphone <laughs> that's for sure we've taken all the necessary precautions that's yet. great man that's great all right, a little discussion going on right now about the presence of Annihilator at ringside. None of these guys are up to any good, that's for sure. You can exactly. count on that. Exactly right. Referee Alan Lane orders Annihilator away from the ring. Brett Knight in against Sergeant Hartman. Sergeant Happy Hartman never saw an individual who enjoyed professional wrestling the way Sergeant Hartman does. Well, that's true. These men, they love their job. That's the military. That's where they came from. And I, I think I think Hartman just likes the pain. Yes, <laughs> that's for sure. You can tell these men, they're in great shape. All right, good side headlock. Brett Knight rolls it around into the hammerlock. Working the hammerlock. Oh, sitting down by the leg. Tremendous move. Sergeant Hartman showing some of his recently acquired skills. Bad boys didn't even know what happened, that's for sure. Good shot of Silverado there at ringside. They're free checking, make sure he's in the man here's doing something illegal. Sergeant Hartman working on that wrist lock. Tags, here comes his partner. Oh, yanks that wrist lock. He's going Thank to the top, you. Ledge. There's the flying elbow. So much pressure, both men went down on that. was tremendous pressure. So, oh. I look like a low blow by yes, Brett sir. Knight to me. Yes, sir. Brett yeah. Knight knows he hit low. Referee's warning him. Referee Allen Lane quick to warn him of the... Uh, that was a tremendous shot. That, that is, referee should disqualify the man for that. He should have ended right there, shouldn't it? Kick right to the face. Oh. Right after him. Parole Danzig. 
Sergeant Hartman. I'm sorry, Brett Knight, Sergeant Hartman. Oh, 360, my goodness. Back, body back. Oh my goodness, Larry. I've never seen anything like Man. that in the WWE. Ouch. That's about the only comment you can make. Ouch. Definitely. That is a tremendous move. Brett Knight, of course, a brutal and punishing wrestler. That's just a trademark for these two guys. No matter any way you look at it, these are wrestlers, and they're both doing a great job. Even though we don't like this guy, you gotta give him a little credit, I guess, Ledge. All right, Brett Knight goes in with the power slam. He took him three, four foot up in the air and dropped him straight on his back. And there's the tag. Carol Danzig comes into the ring. Carol Danzig don't have much of a job here. This man's beat half to death. Goodness. Sergeant Hartman in a lot of trouble right here. Kroll Danzig, however, fails to follow up on the DTT. Goes in for Sessy Mutt. Oh, oh, big power Good slam. gracious. That was at least a 3-2 on the Richter, that's for sure. Sergeant Hartman looks out, cold in the ring, barely able to move, barely conscious. He's, this man is at his will. He, can do anything he wants with this man at this point. Pearl Danzig with the reverse chin lock. That's a little arrogant there, I think. Uh, a lot arrogant, I think. <laughs> That's for sure. God. I don't know where they get this attitude. Now, I'll tell you what, they don't need to hear the WWE. That's for sure. That's why people like me are... Oh! Oh! Sergeant Todd goes in, uh, tries a little indiscretion of his own. He's had all he could stand. He was humiliating his partner there. Goodness. I'd have to let you know what you ate for dinner, that's for sure. Punishing, punishing move. He must be choking his man. I can't see what he's doing. The referee has got in there. Elbow to the chest. Oh, trying to make a comeback. Oh. Oh. I, I can't believe Hartman can still move. Looks like Cole Danson hit his head on Hartman's his chin on his head, something happened there, Ledge. Nailed him. He's the arm bar. Oh, he's working on the lung area. Finally takes him to the corner. Finally to the corner. Oh! Amanda, he better get out of that corner. There's Y right there. Oh! Oh, my goodness. Brett Knight comes in with a big shot to the head of Sergeant Happy Hartman. That's just like taking a straight shot to the face. That, that is tremendous. These men are taking a lot of pain. Oh. It's like a crucifix from here. I couldn't see what that was. That is Sergeant Hartman from the Military Express in a lot of trouble right now at the hands of Brett Knight. Sergeant better watch what he's doing. Oh! Oh, oh Knight! He oh, gives him a fire. Hartman! Oh, my goodness. Does he have enough strength to make a tag? Oh, can he make a tag? Sergeant Hartman is... Oh. I bet he, he ripped his arm clean out of the socket just then. I'd be surprised if Hartman doesn't have a dislocated shoulder from that little move. Referee better keep control of this match. It's getting out of hand real quick here. Oh! Even oh. neither man has any respect for their bodies. You see that leg? Throw himself flat on the concrete. Brad Knight showing why he is one of the uh, more demented wrestlers in the world wrestling empire. That's true. You won't see no pads around here, Liz. This is a real thing here. Both wrestlers back into the ring now. Big boot to the back. Brad Knight goes after Todd. Todd wants in to help his partner. Referee's forcing him out. What are these two? Oh! Uh, what was wow. that? A reverse power driver. Both men drove the man's head straight to the mat, Ledge. Hartman is slowly coming to his senses, almost out at the mat. That was a tremendous move. These men are, God, they want these belts bad, that's for sure. The bad boys at this moment living up to that reputation. Ow! Nearly drove him through the mat. This should be it. And he pulls him uh -huh. up, Ledge. For old Danzig wanted to punish him just a little bit more. That just goes to show they're not out to win, they're out to punish these men, that's for sure. Referee warning him. 
They don't want a disqualification here, Larry, that's for sure. Referee Allen Lane quick to get right into the face of Cole Danzig. There's the tag. Brett Knight goes for the ropes. Referee needs to be counting if both men are in the ring. They set it. Oh! He took his head, please. Oh, goodness, Legend, that took him out. Sergeant Hartman from the Military Express in a lot of trouble. There's the bell. That was a tremendous move. All right, and the bad boys move. go to work on the Military Express. Yes, they are, Ned. They're taking it to them. They're shoving the referee. They're, they're taking him to the pole. Oh, my God. They're working the referee over, and everyone's in their ledge. Oh, we've got to have order out here. Somebody needs to come and take care of these two. Keep ring. They keep calling for the bell. Silverado thinks that's the greatest thing since the sun, I guess. Silverado, the bad boys, Crow Danzig and Brett Knight, and their buddy the Annihilator all at the ring. That's trouble, lads. I told you they were trouble. They're trouble with a capital T, that's for sure. Oh, man. So we're going to let these guys settle down here just a second while we get some assistance for the Military Express out of the ring. Referee Alan Lane appears to have been injured in that little scuffle after the match. Okay, well, let's get another match under the way right here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here this is singles action in the world wrestling empire. Coming in first. He's six foot seven inches tall, weighs in at 325 pounds, managed by Silverado Annihilator. Annihilator's a tough opponent for anybody, that's for sure, Ledge. Annihilator, a, a bad attitude kind of a wrestler. The crowd seems to think something of him, I don't know what it is. His opponent this evening from Tulsa, Oklahoma, T-Town, Tim Zane. T-Town, Tim Zane. Very flashy wrestler. Here comes Zane. I don't know what these guys have in greatly outweighed in this match, but he wanted a shot at it, and Annihilator said, go for it. That's one thing about the WWE, they will give you a chance to show yourself. That's for sure, Larry, it's down here. It's a great place here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I love it. All right. The referee, Diamond Darrell, into the ring, checking over Annihilator. Annihilator, a huge man. 6'7", over 300 pounds, a large man, I might say. Extremely. There's the bell. He's an overpowered this man, that's for sure, Ledge. T-Town Tim Zane is going to have to use quickness and agility at this point. He's going, he will not be able to out-muscle Annihilator. Go! Oh, oh, big shot! Goodness. Oh, my yeah. Annihilator taking off his feet. Unbelievable, Ledge. T-Town Tim Zane quick to show that he means business tonight. Annihilator better go home and eat his Wheaties. Looks like he might need him tonight, Ledge. Definitely, most definitely. He's very upset with himself. He can't believe the smaller man did this to him. Very upsetting. T-Town Tim Zane, one of the up-and-coming rising stars in the world wrestling empire. I don't know how to take this man. Zane using every trick in the book to get one up on the Annihilator. Well, Annihilator has him by the throat. Oh! like a sack of potatoes, legend. You see that. Now, P-Town Tim Zane will have to work this match hard early because the large size of the Annihilator means that as the match progresses, that size will begin to work against T-Town Tim Zane as he begins to fatigue from moving all that weight around the ring. That's Good gracious. This is Annihilator me, reaches in for the big body slam. That is... Over seven foot in the air, legs be so flat on your back. Ouch. <laughs> good gracious. That's, that's what another I said. reason I don't wrestle. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Definitely got to be in good shape to do this, Ledge. That's for sure. Well, I have a lot of respect for the athletes of the World Wrestling Empire and their abilities to get into that ring. Good move by T-Town Tim. He managed to get those feet into the ropes, and referee Diamond Darrell orders the hole broken. T-Town Tim Zane in a lot of trouble right now at the hands of the 
giant annihilator. There's a, for years to come, a fan for the World Wrestling Empire. Look at him, he's on the top row for a large man. Oh! Oh, 325 plus pounds. Did you see that? Down. The ring moved, I guarantee you, at least four to five feet. Good gracious. Annihilator once again up his usual trick. Not going for the pin at all, but merely just the punishment. I think that's why he got in this business, Ledge. That's to hurt people. He's not here to wrestle. He's here to hurt people. The only way he could do it legally. He'll hurt you. I'll guarantee you if I've been up against this huge man, he will hurt you if you let him. All right. Couple of shots to the knees of T-Town Tim Zane. Annihilator, obviously, in a superior position at this point, is carrying the momentum for this match. Asking for the crowd's approval, letting everyone know who the best man is, so yeah. he says. Now right here is a mistake we see common to the way Annihilator wrestles. He spends way too much time showboating through the crowd. Fails to follow up on some good finishing opportunities. T-Town going to work on that head. That's what you need to do if this man stay on one part. That's him. Oh, Annihilator reverses the whip. T-Town goes into the turnbuckle. Oh, and a big stomp to the back. That's right, Ledge had way too much weight advantage over him for T-Town to throw the Annihilator into the ropes. I believe that boot is a yeah, size 13 or 14. It is huge. Let me tell you something, Ledge, when it looks coming right at you, it looks like an 18, believe me. Huge man. Annihilator trying to cut the blood flow off to the brain of T-Town Tim Zane. Doing a great it. job there, Ledge. Like I said, these men, they're tremendous shape. Got to give them credit. Big leg drop. Oh, man, that ought to be something to you. Put you in the next week, I believe. You got to admire the gut that T-Town oh, Tim Zane goodness. signed this match. Tremendous punishment this man is taking. I can't believe it, Ledge. He kicked out. He raised his shoulder. My later can't believe it. He, he's unbelievable. Lots of energy right there. Now let her tell him to make a quicker count. Diamond Darrell and the Annihilator having a little discussion over in the corner. Referee says he is making a quick count. Order Silverado back to the corner. Big mistake by Annihilator. Fails to follow up. Go in for the pin and finish. Gives T-Town Tim Zane an opportunity to regain his senses. T-Town is taking punishment by the alt. Now later, good gracious, he's taking a lot of punishment. The Annihilator stalks the corners of the ring, taunting the crowd as he goes. Telling everyone he's done, stick a fork in him, he said. I believe that's what he said, Ledge. Something to that effect. <laughs> he's having his way with this man, that's for sure. Going for his patented Nile move. Calling for the big power bomb. Oh. There it is. He nailed him with that power bomb. He will not get up from this. Yes, great match. T Town took a lot of punishment. There it is. Annihilator has been declared the winner of this match. In a punishing, punishing match against T Town Tim Zane. Annihilator still after his man. He will not quit. He's going after him. Well, there you have it, Annihilator and Silverado. What a pair, Ledge, what a pair. What a pair. We don't know what kind of pair, but they are quite the pair. That's true, Ledge, we can't say this is okay, a well, show. Okay, we got the bad boys who were preliminary winners coming up. We got Scott Summers and Shane Cortez, who you saw earlier. This will be another semi-final match coming up in the World Wrestling Empire for the WWE Tag Team Tournament to determine belt holders all kinds of problems with these things the board of directors decided to hold this tournament we will within about four weeks name new tag team champions but first we're going to get a word in from our sponsor this is ready i'm the lead you're watching the world wrestling empire is expanding. No, not Jimmy, the showroom. To make more room for all your appliance needs. We've expanded our lines of new furniture with Washington Dykes and Seville. And as always, we have a full line of quality pre-owned appliances. So whether you need a 
refrigerator, stove, washer, dryer, TV or VCR, come to Conley Appliances and either purchase or rent to own. And don't forget our service after the sale. Come by Conley's on the corner of 49th West Avenue and Charles Pace Boulevard and see our expanded showroom. And remember, Vern Jewelry is still next door. Break one nine for a lonely trucker. Can anyone copy? How about Guys, where do you go when you just got to get on that channel? Calgary. Try Radio City CB. Radio City has new grants, unit in Galaxy and Cobra radios, fire stick and hustler antennas, and they're an authorized Wilson dealer. Mama got you on a budget? Radio City has a large selection of pre-owned radios for anyone's pocketbook. Whether it's installation, service, or just the rock bottom prices, the next time you just got to get through, think Radio City CB. In the northwest corner of the parking lot, Bruce's Hello? truck stop, 161st and Skelly Drive. Need insurance if you have a car, boat, or motorcycle, even if you have traffic tickets or a DUI. If you own a business, if you are a renter, Try Us for Insurance has been serving Oklahomans since 1951. We are property and casualty insurance specialists. Try Us for Insurance, an independent agent for property and casualty insurance. Try Us for Insurance, 831 North Sheridan, Tulsa. That's 834-5663. Military Express, Military Expense, whatever it was, no competition. We wiped them out. They're just a nasty little oil spot in the middle of the ring after the bad boys took care of them. But let me tell you something. We're up against another tag team. Shane Cortez, Scott Summers, better eat your Wheaties, boys, because it's going to be an all-day lunch for you. And these guys are going to take you to the cleaners. You can bank on it. All right, welcome back to the World Wrestling Empire. You know, the bad boys just really have a bad attitude, don't they? I think they wake up on a bad day every day, oh, Ledge, man. that's for sure. I tell you. Well, I'll tell you, we got the bad boys coming up here, and they've advanced to the semifinals against Scott Summers and Shane and Shane Cortez. So let's get this going going on here right now. That'll be a great match. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this match is a semi-final match in the World Wrestling Empire Tag Team Tournament. Both of these tag teams have passed the preliminaries. Coming in first, they are managed by Silverado from Atlanta, Georgia, Rick Nye and Cole Danzig, the Bad Boys. We got the bad boys right there, that's for sure. Silverado and Gang. I don't think the elevator did here at the top, if you ask me. Their opponents this evening, they're managed by Bad Brad and Colonel Tom Foreman. Ladies and gentlemen, Scott Summers and the High Flying Shane Gordon. Ready for this match, Larry, that's for sure. All right, Shane Cortez, Scott Summers did a fine job in their preliminary match against the Masters of Destruction. Are ready to take it to the bad boys in this next step to the new holders of the World Wrestling Empire Tag Team Belt. There was a hello from Summers, it looks like. Scott Summers and Annihilator facing off at ringside. Neither man really want each other outside the ring. Let's get in there where it's legal, gentlemen. Oh! Right to the face, Nice man. shot. That. Now that was a closed fist. That was definitely <laughs> a closed fist. That would have been in the yeah. ring, I guess the referee would have called something. But since we're outside, it doesn't matter. Referee Allen Lane right there, ordering Annihilator away from ringside, sending him back to the dressing room. With a little assistance by Brett Knight, they managed to move Annihilator back far enough. Scott Summers and Cortez did a fine job for an inexperienced tag team controlling the Masters of Destruction. Of course, the, the Masters of Destruction do nothing but tag. They're very experienced tag team wrestlers, and there's the bell. Here we go. Semi-final action in the World Wrestling Empire Tag Team Tournament. It's been a great tournament. I've had special to be in it myself. Legend, it's a great tournament. All right. Here we go. Oh! He's working on the head. Oh! A great move by Cortez. Better get out of that corner. Oh! Cortez is just unbelievable the way he rolls up sometimes. 
He's lighting it quick, Ledge. You have to be there to get him because you can't always find him. Pro Danzig whips Cortez off the ropes. Oh! Reverse! Throws him clean out of the ring, Ledge. Pro Danzig misses with the arm drag. Cortez is able to reverse it, and uh, that rolls Danzig underneath that bottom rope and out the ring. He can't believe it. He can't believe Cortez threw him out that easily. It's a great move by Cortez. He's a fine wrestler. All right, a lot of discussion with Silverado and the bad boys. Silverado trying to get his little chickens all back in the flock, if you will. Throw Danzig back into the ring. Cortez makes a tag. Here's Scott Summers as he stalks in against Danzig. Collar and elbow tie-up. First man fighting for a position. There's a whip off the rope. Oh, a tremendous. He, he hit him with the fist. High back body, follows it up with a couple of shots with his fist to the face of Scott Summers. Summers slow to get to his feet now. Referee warning him about that. Danzig knows better. There's a whip off the rope. Oh! Scott Summers with the DDT. Come out of nowhere with that one, Legend. That was unbelievable. There's his partner once again. You gotta watch these two. Brett not into the ring. Cortez going after him. He knocked him clean off the ring raper. That was a oh, tremendous I hit. Think, I think Brett not landed on his head on the concrete coming out of the ring. Well, I guess it didn't hurt him then if he landed on his head, Lex. Oh, Scott Summers with a boot to the inside of that knee. Looks like he's trying to work into the figure four. Looking for the crowd's approval. He waited too long. Oh, Carl Dancy reaches up. Kicks out. Nice move. Cole Danzig goes right back to the body. Takes him to his corner. These men are, are, are two on one. It's tremendous movement here, Led. Scott Summers in a bad spot in the corner. Brett Knight goes to choke him with something. Can't see what's going on, but the referee is all out of position. Here comes Cortez. Shane Cortez. He had enough. He couldn't stand anymore, Led. He would have helped help his partner. Good gracious. Often thought it might be a good idea to have two or three referees working each one of these matches. That's right. These two men keep that referee moving. This is the crowd. The crowd is into it, Ledge. Standing six legs. Oh. That had to be six foot or seven in the air, Ledge. That's tremendous. Roll Danzig makes the tag. Brett Knight into the ring against Scott Summers. Just barely misses him with the boot. Summers makes the tag. Brett Knight loses his footing as he backs up. Brett Knight can't believe Cortez has him. Both men are hanging on. Cortez is pulling. Brett He's win Knight against the pull. He runs his head into the rope. Brett Knight drags Cole Danzig out away from the rope. The crowd's waiting on him to stop him. Cortez, I don't know if he will. Tremendous move. Leg drop that inner thigh area. That'll give you a charge. Goes board. in for the pin. He rolls out. Sets him into the turnbuckles. Whip into the far side. Oh! High forearm. A tremendous move. Goes in. Oh. in. Body slam. Good gracious. Body flying everywhere, Ledge. Good power slam there by Cortez. Whip out. Oh. Oh. Nearly threw him, hurled him out of the rope, Ledge. Tremendous move. Both men are flat on their backs. Stomp to the chest. Brett Knight taking advantage. These two men are, all four men are in a, they're, they're a tremendous match. You'll only see it live here at the WWE. Oh, power slam. Tremendous movement in there. Great shape these men are in. Cortez kicks out. Two count by referee Alan Lane. Cortez slowly trying to make his way to his feet. Back to back with shot to the stomach to stern him. Ooh, couple of big shots. Cortez goes in on the wrist lock now. Straight move. Shane is doing his thing now. He's doing the right thing. Working on a body part. Oh, oh, tremendous. Move. Back and forth, they're being moving back and forth. Oh! Series of fine reverses by two great wrestlers. Great moves there. Back to back moves. There's the leg drop by Brett Knight. Cortez did not see that coming. He's hit faces in the mat. 
the great knee. Stomping on the hands there. What that'll do, I don't know. Summer's coming in, the referee needs to back him out. Oh, the referee better turn his back. These two men are going to do devastation to this man. Oh, there's that move again, Ledge. Double. That uh, tag team piled right in. My goodness, that takes two men, Ledge. That's you call that an assisted pile driver. That is dangerous. That, that could snap your neck like a twig. St. Cortez in the wrong corner in a lot of trouble at this point. He's filling that double pile driver he got. Oh! Brett Knight drives a few blows into the chest and stomach of Shane Cortez and now goes after him in the head. Referee telling him in the break. You see them use his fist. That's illegal here in the WWE. Oh, another power bomb out of the bad boys. My goodness, Cortez. He's taking all kinds of punishment from both men. Beginning to believe that is a specialty move. They put a lot of time and effort into working that particular move. You better wrestle him, Ledge, instead of slapping him in the face. He woke him up. That's oh, what he did. Oh, my goodness. He woke him up. Referee needs to break that. Both wrestlers scrapping for better position. Cortez has him. Brett in the into the rope. You know, I'd have to believe that in a mat wrestling situation, Shane Cortez would have to hold all the cards. That's true. He's a great tremendous athlete. Cortez working hard, trying to get to make the tag of Scott Summers. Scott Thank Summers standing as far as he can into the ring. The crowd's going He's crazy. Stretching. Cortez is not can alert enough it? to get can to the corner. It? Can he make it? No, he swings and misses. Brett Knight has Shane Cortez by the feet. He does there. not want a fresh man Inches in the away. ring. Inches away, Ledge. Inches away. And he There's makes the tag. tag. Brett Knight is in a lot of trouble. And he missed, he, he just slipped it. He just barely slipped out, Ledge. That still had to hurt, though. Scott so, Summers going for the figure, figure four. four. Locks it in. You better watch his partner. There's another man out there. Oh! The kick to the head, Ledge. That ought to break the figure four. Yeah, the pop a few capillaries there in the forehead. That's for think? sure. Both, all four men are taking tremendous punishment. Scott Summers barely holding that figure four. You need to watch Silverado. He's up to no good, I can tell, just by looking at this man. Hold is broken. Both wrestlers obviously injured at this point. Oh, there's a heel kick in the back of the head. Both men are swinging wildly. Summers has had enough. Scott Summers reverses it, put Brad Knight on the rope. There's a whip. Oh, nice high drop kick. Yes, it was. Ledge right on the button. That'll put you in La La Land. A great shot of the crowd we have. Oh, there's what a leg drop. Leg drop. Sound like 10 ton of brick hitting just then. My goodness. Scott Summers in against the Rhett Knight. One half of the bad boy tag team. Referee telling him to break the hold. He's saying, oh, hold. That's what he did, Liz. He, he, he broke the hold. hold <laughs> yeah, he broke the hold like the referee requested. Regardless, the man was four foot off the ground or five. He still didn't broke tell him to set him down first, did he? No, he broke the hold. <laughs> That's great wrestling there. Oh, good move by Scott Summers. Both men told it to oh, knee to knee right now, beating each other in the head. My goodness. Changing blows right there. Cheap shot to the throat. The referee needs to watch that. Both men are taking tremendous punishment. Oh. Uh, the suplex put Scott Summers on the mat. Both men are distantly tired. Brett Knight unable to follow up. Crowd is getting back into it again, helping these men out. Cortez has done a great job on the outside of getting the crowd in the match. Help his partner, Summers. Oh, this is with the flying axe handle. And he moves. I couldn't believe he moved, Ledge. That was a great move on Summers' part. Even when almost out, Scott Summers exhibits 
very good ring instinct. There's another tag. Freshman in the ring now. Cortez oh. sets it up. Oh, tremendous clothesline. My goodness, Cortez is on top. One, two. Let me kick that on two. Leave his chest. Cortez is on fire at this point. Another tremendous move by Shane Cortez as he heads for the rope. This is his move here. Rolls hands, it gets to his feet. Here comes Cortez. Oh, oh. Beautiful. Sunset flip. Yes. Who? Yes. The referee signals a two count. That was so close, Ledge. That was incredible. That was, that was like two and three quarters. Uh, oh, that was incredible. Cortez dragging him back in there as a shot of Silverado. He don't like this, that's for sure. The hamstring stretch, and there's a tag. A fresh man into the ring. Kroll Danzig in trouble now. This is the tag team, ladies. You have to at least keep one man in there fresh at all times. Scott Summers and Shane Cortez doing a good job against the bad boys. If he keeps working on that ankle, it'll look like hamburger meat after a while, ladies. He's twisting it. Scott Summers goes to work with what looks like a some kind of version of an arm bar stepped onto the, the leg of Cole Danzig. Looks like he's trying to really make working on 360, Blitz. Working on twisting that foot. He's in pain right now. I don't know where he is. No! Scott Summers taking it to Cole Danzig. Cole Danzig getting some of that punishment earlier he gave out to Summers. Picks him up by the leg. Cole Danzig gets to his feet. He's going to give some of Summers back what he just got. Shows the effects of that uh, cowboy leg. Oh! Oh my goodness, that was right on the kneecap. He could have shattered his kneecap. Boot to the kneecap. He's going to give him a little bit of his own medicine, it looks like. Cole no! Oh. oh! Yes, he does. Both these wrestlers determined to injure the other. Got to be in great shape, Ledge, to come back after that tremendous move. He's trying to break that leg, it looks like to me. Going places I've never seen a leg go before. Not meant to bend that direction normally. Tremendous elbow with a pro dancing. Oh, and he kicks out. Scott Summers with a kick out on two and a half. That's why he made it to the semifinals, Ledge, because of this great performance here. Both teams wanting these belts. I can understand because I've, I've been there myself, Ledge. Boom with the DDT. Scott Summers is down in the middle of the ring. They're wasting time, Ledge. They should have covered the man. There's the tag. Brett Knight back into the ring. Brett Knight should have covered this man quickly, but instead he's letting him back up. Scott Summers brought to his feet, whipped off the rope. Brett Knight is oh. with the clothesline, but not Scott Summers. Double clothesline or a haymaker or something, Blades. That was a tremendous move. Both men down. Summers trying to crawl back to his corner. Scott Summers attempts to get back to make the tag with Shane Cortez, but Brett Knight stands between them. He takes, kicks his leg out from under him. He needs a tag at this no. point, Blades. Stretches the hamstring, makes the tag. Here comes Cortez. And the fresh man is once in again, Ledge. Oh, he took his head clean off, Ledge. That is unbelievable. Drives into the mat with that clothesline. Boy, he took him right in the chin right there. And Shane Blob have to go to the dentist for that. Cortez looks like he's trying to lock in the figure four. They're, they're setting it up, I should be saying. He's working it up, getting it real loose for the coup de grace, I guess, Ledge, if you would. A lot of pressure right there. Yeah, I say that's great camera work by these camera crew we have. It's great work. Take you right into the ring. Several boots to the back of Shane Cortez. The crowd telling Cortez to get up. The bad boys make the tag. Scott Summers into the ring to try to help Cortez. Got to help him. Summers is hurting his man, Cortez. Uh oh, they're going for the coup de grace. This is for the whole ball of wax, Lex. Oh, the 
Bad Boys have defeated the tag team of Scott Summers and Shane Cortez. Cortez is hurt. That was a tremendous move by the Bad Boys. Cortez injured. That was a tremendous move. That was a cootie raw. That was all it took, Liz. A tremendous move by the Bad Boys. God, the crowd loves it or hates it. God, unmistakable, Liz. That is oh, disgrace. Oh, man. Well, that... That hurt. <laughs> Two on one, ladies and gentlemen. Two on one. These men All think right. there's something. Well, I'll tell you what. We're going to let them help us. Shane Cortez out of the ring while we get a word in from our sponsors. I'm the Legend of the and you're watching the World Wrestling Empire. Hey, get out of that refrigerator. It's a little late for us, don't you think? That's right. Stay with us. Okay, wrestling fans, if you missed the last show, you missed the finals of the Tag Team Tournament, the introduction of our gorgeous new ring announcer, an incredible light and pyrotechnical show, and you are basically an idiot. However, we're going to give you one more chance when the World Wrestling Empire holds its third annual Stephen D. Belleville Memorial Tournament of Champions. On Saturday, November 11th, don't miss the hottest wrestling action around as our wrestlers lock up in a free-for-all. That's the National Guard Armory, 4200 North Mingo Valley. Doors open at 7, bell time at 8. The World Wrestling Empire, be there! Like one nine for a lonely trucker. Can anyone copy? How about guys? Where do you go when you just gotta get on that channel? Try Radio City CB. Radio City has new grants, Unity, Galaxy, and Cobra Radio, Fire Stick and Hustler antennas, and they're an authorized Wilson dealer. Mama got you on a budget. Radio City has a large selection of pre-owned radios for anyone's pocketbook. Whether it's installation, service, or just the rock bottom prices, the next time you just gotta get through. Think Radio City CB in the northwest corner of the parking lot. Bruce's Truck Stop, 161st and Skelly Drive. Out there. Promotional consideration provided by the following. Connolly Appliances, home of service after the sale. Radio City CB, the place for CBs and accessories. Dolphin Manufacturing, proud builders of the World Wrestling Empire set. Golden Pond, one of the largest selections of pre-owned musical instruments in the area. is expanding. No, not Jimmy, the showroom. To make more room for all your appliance needs. We've expanded our lines of new furniture with Washington Dykes and Seville. And as always, we have a full line of quality pre-owned appliances. So whether you need a refrigerator, stove, washer, dryer, TV or VCR, come to Conley Appliances and either purchase or rent to own. And don't forget our service after the sale. Come by Conley's on the corner of 49th West Avenue and Charles Page Boulevard and see our expanded showroom. And remember... Vern Jewelry is still next door. If you're watching this, then so are your customers. Find out how spot market advertising can work for your business. Call Zabcom Video at 918-749-9447 and see your commercial here for as little as $60 per week. That's 749-9447. Welcome back to the World Wrestling Empire, where we have had one wild, wild night. Of course, we saw Scott Summers and Shane Cortez in a preliminary match, defeating the Masters of Destruction. Cortez and Summers are a great job as a tag team. Right. I love seeing that. All right, and then we saw the Bad Boys as they really took it to the Military Express. Bad Boys, once again, very bad. Hey. And then in a match, T-Town Tim Zane taking on the Annihilator. The Annihilator won that one. Tim Zane outweighed by a punch. He was just there. Annihilator had his way with this man. Okay. And then in the match that you just saw, the Bad Boys defeated Scott Summers and Shane Cortez. That means that the Bad Boys will advance to the finals in the World Wrestling Empire Tag Team Tournament. They got a real shot at the belt. They deserve it, ladies. They went all the way. Even though they're cheaters and scoundrels, we don't care. Okay. Now then, if you want to write to the World Wrestling Empire, you can write to P.O. Box 593, Owasso, Oklahoma, 74055. And hey, we'd love to hear from you. Write Red Eagle letter. That's right. We love to hear from the fans. That's what makes WWE so great. Okay. Good night, Kayla. We'll see you next week right here on the World Wrestling Empire.